Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, I will share with you what I titled the three major things required to partner with God. Hallelujah. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share the video, like the video, and your comments are also welcome. God bless you so much. For those that have subscribed, I appreciate you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, let your name be glorified through this message. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I am excited. You know, praise Jesus. The three major things required to partner with God, to work with God, in order for you to obtain the good reports. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. God says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sin may be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. You see, that is an open invitation from a loving father. He doesn't want any of us to perish. And he has a purpose for each of us that he wants us to fulfill. And he knows that without us in him, we cannot fulfill that purpose. That is why he has given us open invitation to anyone, everyone to come unto him. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are workmanship of God, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. He has before ordained it that we should walk in them. He has a purpose for every one of us to fulfill. And he knows that without us in him, we cannot fulfill that purpose. Romans 8.29 says, For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. That is the will of God. He wants to partner with us. He wants us to work with Him. Praise Jesus. But you know, any kingdom that is without rules and regulations, that kingdom will be a dangerous kingdom to live. Because it means everybody can just do whatsoever they like and get away with it. And God is a God of order. He's a righteous God. He's God that is holy. That is pure. It's not a God that is confused. Praise Jesus. So, the first thing required to work with God, to partner with God, is faith. Faith. You see, faith is substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is, faith perceiving as real facts. As real fact, things that are not revealed to the senses. Praise Jesus. Faith is perceiving as real fact those things that are not revealed to the senses. Hallelujah. That is faith. Hebrew 11, chapter 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. That means faith is also a love language of God. Because you cannot please Him without faith. For he that comes to Him must believe. Must believe. You see, must. It's a must. It has to be. You have to have that faith. You must believe that He is God. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Not a rewarder of those that just seek him, but those that diligently seek him. That carefully, thoroughly, attentively seek him. You must believe that he is God. Praise Jesus. Faith required to partner with God. It just 
relationship between a man and a woman, husband and wife, if there is no trust between them, they cannot work together. Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says, Can two work together except they agree? Verse 2 of Hebrew 11 says, For by it the elders obtained good reports. They obtained good reports by faith. Who are those elders? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, the prophets, the apostles. They obtained good reports. By faith. Praise Jesus. What are those good reports? They please God. And as such fulfill their purpose. Their good report. Is what we are standing on right now. That is feeding us. Praise Jesus. And God himself is a God of faith. That believe that have faith in his word. Genesis chapter 1 says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. You can see, the Spirit of, of God is already at last. It moved upon the face of the water. Waiting for the command. Immediately God said, let there be light. And there was light. That same spirit lives in the inside of us. Each of us that have received Christ as our Lord and, and Savior. The Holy Ghost. The same spirit will be waiting for us to issue command. It's waiting for us to do two things. To, to issue command. To speak the word. And release our faith together with it. So that there shall be a performance of that which proceeds out of our mouths. Praise Jesus. Faith is required to please God, to work with God, to partner with God, to obtain good reports. This year, you must stand up to your faith and obtain your good report. In this year, in the name of Jesus. Let me take you quickly to the book of Daniel chapter 3. There you will hear faith speaking. Praise Jesus. Daniel chapter 3. I'm going to read from verse 16. You know the king there. The king Nebuchadnezzar. He created image. Make it as his God. That everyone should bow to the, to the, to the image. Verse 16 says. Now they are talking to the three Hebrew guys. Hebrew, uh, Hebrew guys. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And it says in verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. Because he want them to bow to image as God. Verse, verse 18 now says, But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou set up they, they stand on their faith that they are not careful they will not bow to that image nor will they worship that image now the king the king was very angry to hear them say that verse 22 says therefore because the king's command was urgent and the the, the foulness exceeding art the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You see, the, the, because the king was angry, he now called the mighty guys among his soldiers. He said they should set up a fire. The burning fairy furnace to pull the three evil guys in there. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they, put, they make that fire to be exceeding hot. And those guys were killed by the fire. Because it was too hot. You see, verse 24 now. Then the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of this fire? He's asking a question now. They answered and said unto, unto the king, True, O king. You see, verse 
25. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men lose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no heart. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. You see, even the king himself could see the Son of God in that fire with them. I pray for you right now that the fourth man we show her in time of your trouble in the name of Jesus. For he is our very present help. Our very present help in time of trouble in the name of Jesus. These guys knew that and they stood on their faith. They stood their ground and they said they would not bow to that image. Praise Jesus. Now, verse 26. Then the king came near to the mount to the mouth of the burning fairy furnace, and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servant of the Most High God. Can you see that recognition now? That acknowledgement that they are the servant of the Most High God. I prophesy that your enemy will recognize you as the servant of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. Come forth and come thither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. They were brought out from it. They came out from it. The king himself was terrified by their faith and what has happened. I pray that your enemy will be terrified by your faith in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 28 now, then the king spake and said, Blessed be God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I also pray for you that your enemy, because of your faith in Jesus, they will confess God as their Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus. You see, now verse 28 says, then the king spake and said, Blessed be God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servant that trusted in him. That delivered his servant that trusted in him. Faith is speaking. And have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Now, listen now. The, the king now make a decree. Therefore, verse 29, Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after these sorts. And the king promoted the three of them. Because of their faith in God. You see. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. As you are listening to this message. May the president. May the governor. May mayor. May whosoever you are working with. Your manager. The CEO. Your team leader. Make a decree. That will agree with the word of God. Because of your faith in Christ Jesus. And bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. That is what faith can do. That is what faith can do. Back to Hebrew 11. It says, What shall I say more? That time we fail me to talk of Gideon, of Barak, of Samson, of Japheth, and David also, and of Samuel, of the prophets. Who through faith subdue kingdoms, True faith, subdue, to bring under control, to overcome. That is what Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego also did here. They subdue kingdom because of their faith in God. The king bowed to the king of kings and recognized, yes, indeed, as a God in heaven that rules in the affairs of men because of faith of his servants. That is kind of faith required to partner with God and obtain good reports. Praise Jesus. Let me quickly also take you to the book of Luke, 
chapter 1, from verse 28. When the angel appeared to Mary, and he said, Blessed are thou among women. And he told, he, he, he told her that she, she would conceive and have a child, and that child shall become the son of God. But Mary was afraid that what is this? Because that kind of thing does not make sense, because she's a virgin. Does not make sense, does not make sense to a natural person. For a natural man receives not the things of the spirit. Neither will, do, will he know them because they are spiritually discerned. A natural man will not understand the things of the spirit because they will be foolishness to him. Praise Jesus. Hear what it says. The angel said to her in verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. I pray that you found favor with God anywhere you go in the name of Jesus. The angel said to her, Fear not. Because fear will paralyze you. Fear will, will make you blind, not to be able to see the future ahead. The fear will even make you forget who you are in Christ Jesus. Fear will torment you. Say, fear not. Praise Jesus. And he said to, to her in verse 35, And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that only thing, we shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And in verse 37 it says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. That means anything God cannot do does not exist. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Praise Jesus. And see the response of Mary. In verse 38, and Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. That is faith. She leads her faith to receive it. Let your faith be released right now to receive that which God has spoken concerning you this year in the name of Jesus. Makendri Katolia Maria Katolia. You see, in verse 45 of that same chapter says, And blessed is she that believed. You see, blessed is she that believed. The moment you believe it, the word of God, you're already blessed. For that shall be a performance of that which was told her from the Lord. That shall be a performance. The moment you release your faith. Praise Jesus. Faith is required to partner with the Lord. Fear is a reaction, but faith is a decision. It's a choice that you have to choose. You see the people that obtain good reports in the Bible only because of their faith. Because of their faith in God. What is your choice today? As you're listening to this message, I pray in the name of Jesus that your faith, by the grace of God, will be released to every word that God has spoken unto you, and that shall be a performance of what the Lord has told you in the name of Jesus. And you will not be denied of that which that is due unto you, for to subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approved not. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that this first section of this message bless you so much. The second section will follow. Three things required to partner with God in order to obtain the good report. Praise Jesus. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, Kindly do so and begin to possess your possessions in Jesus' name. The second message of this, the continuation will follow immediately. God bless you and I will see you shortly by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen.